my take on the rapid ridgeline deployment. I'll discuss in further detail throughout this video how to tie the knots that are required, these Prusik knots, bowline on the end, which is not actually required, and why I have opted for these night eyes, figure nine carabiners. Welcome back to another video. Let's hope it's a, it's a good one. Uh, my name is Matt. I am the Islander. Uh, for those who don't know what this channel is about, primarily uh, stealth covert camping nowadays, uh, sometimes paragliding, paramotoring, skydiving, whatever takes my fancy. So today, beautiful little A-frame set up behind me, uh, top A-frame. It's the DD 3x3 uh, multi-cam top. It's a very nice top actually. Fundamental to any top setup is the ridge line. Whether you're hammock camping, whether you're doing a lean to, whatever, a ridge line, even if you're just drying your clothes. Actually developed by the Pathfinders in the military with their ethos to get under a shelter very quickly. Um, however, in civilian day-to-day -day life, all about stealth camping, uh, being covert, setting up a shelter fast, being able to break it down fast if you get bumped, which has happened to me, being able to get away quickly. But not just for that perspective, you might just be your everyday camper that's, you know, camping somewhere where they don't need to be stealthy. But the heavens open, it starts raining. Any fuel can get wet. Let's get under our shelter fast. So my take on the rapid deployment, quick, um, efficient ridge line incorporates uh, something called the Night Eyes Figure 9 Carabiner system. These are very cheap. They're like five pound, five dollars on Amazon. Uh, don't worry if you've got no interest in them. Uh, I will explain how you rig it up without them um, using a Marlin hitch improvised knot. Um, yeah, so I'll also explain how to do the Prusik knot in this video, um, exactly how I'm using these figure nine carabiners and uh, a few little tips on packing it, stowing it away so it's good to go when you need to go next time. Without further ado, let's get amongst it. Okay, one of the beauties of this setup is it just comes apart. You can chuck it in your bag and I'll discuss later on how to pack it up, but it's just, it's there. You grab it, you set it up, you go. Okay, so let's take this end. Got my figure nine carabiner. We also have a bowline. Now, if you don't know how to tie a bowline, at the end of the video, I'll discuss how to tie both the bowline and the Prusik knots. Uh, but for now, let's just crack on. So, got that going through the main part of my carabiner. Now, personal choice how long you set your ridge line. Mine is probably about mm, seven to 10 meters, just in case I need to go uh, further, but personal preference whatever so keep an eye on this tree so we're going to push the prusik knots down <clears throat> going to go around the tree normally normally i like to set mine up around about waist height but for today we'll go a little bit higher because that's where my camera is set rigged this year we're going to go around the tree and you'll see and I will do a close up in a minute. All I do, let's put it through here once, tension it, wrap it in, and that's me, good to go. That's, that's, that is solid. That's not slipping up, down, that is good to go. Right, let me get a close up of that, like so, okay? Doesn't matter which way you wrap it around the tree. I'm gonna go this way. Bring it back around. Get it to roughly where I want, tightness wise. Tension it, wrap it back around there. T tension it off. Now if you've wrapped this up right, it'll just unravel as you're walking, like so. And then, 
we'll go around the tree. Get rid of any slack, and once again, I will do a close up of this. Carabiner on this side, pull it tight. There we go, ridge line, rigged. Let's get that close up squared away. And similar design, carabiners on this, the end that's already tensioned to the tree. Pull it round the tree. Once you get it to where you want it, nice and tight, round there. Pull her in, tension her off, and that is a very nice setup. Again, these Prussic knots, if you haven't seen them before, very easy to tie. Again, I'll show you that at the end of the video. The reason I choose to use these is because you hold them at the top of the knot, you can slide them very, very easily. Very easily indeed. However, you grab, you load it up. It's not going anywhere. What I will say is, if you are going to use paracord like me, try to use a thinner paracord on the Prussic knots than you will on your ridge line. Even still, bank line's probably the best stuff for it. But this is the stuff. Uh, just for this demonstration, I have used reflective line here, obviously, if I'm covert camping, this call sign is not going to have any of that going on. Okay, people. So the Prussic knot then. Plenty of tutorials of this on YouTube. Well, I'll just do a quick one myself. Length is optional. Depends what you're using it for. You might just want to suspend a lantern off your ridge line. You might want to use it for, you know, easy to reach items. If you're hammock camping, however, for me, this is all about setting up the tarp and tension in the top, so roughly about six to eight inches works for me. Right, this is an old piece of line, hence the state of it, but it's bright yellow, so it'll do the job. You can do, you can do various knots really here, but what we want to do is join these two. I like the square knot, so right over left, under itself, then left over right, under itself. Tension her up, and if you've done it right, it should look like that. Okay, that is perfectly fine for our use. I wouldn't be hanging off a cliff with this setup. Then we'll go rock climbing based on that knot, but for this, it's perfect. Okay, then here's your line, ridge line. Apologies, it is green, and I am standing in a woodland area, hence why I'm using this one. So. You can do it either way, you can place it over that way, you can do it towards you, whichever. I prefer to do it this way. So the line is between me and the... So I'm going to place the line like that. What I'm going to do with this looped end is I'm just going to run it over the ridge line. Okay, I'm not going to pass it back through this knotted end. I'm going to run it over the ridge line again, dressing the knot each time. Dressing the knot is just terminology for making it look nice. Okay, and then over again one more time. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to pull it through. Now, ideally, you don't want your knot to come running up into that, but right now, for the demonstration, I don't mind. And that is what it's roughly going to look like. If you've done it right, it'll look nice and tidy. Ignore the knot. It's joining a line. Okay. Now, as I demonstrated before, this, look how little pressure that is. I can move that back and forth, no problem. However, when I tension it up, that's going nowhere. As I said before, it's not optimal to use thicker line than the ridge line. I would always go smaller. It'll bite into the paracord or whatever bungee system or whatever you choose to use. So in a nutshell, the Prusik knot. My ridge line is established. I'm happy with the tension on it. The whole point we're here is to bang a tarp up. So, tarp today, I've got two with me, but I'm gonna use the DD tarp. Let's, uh, let's get that up and I'll show you a little bit more of how we connect it to these Prusik lines, okay? Let's move these into the middle. Uh, 
virgin tarp. Never used this one before. Brand new to me. Okay. Just gonna use what's around me. Got a stick here. Again, I'll do a close up shortly. Pass the Prussic knot through the tarp. Use the stick. Let's use what's around us again. There's another stick that'll do. It's not rotten. Okay. See how windy it is. But, like you say, we don't always get to set up in optimal conditions. Pull that one tight. Pull that one tight. Okay. Let's just set one up in the middle here. Again, decent enough stick will do the job. Alrighty, okay. Connecting the Prussic line. Got it here. You can see that. Yep. All right. Gonna pass the Prussic line through the tarp attachment. Simply, just find a stick on the forest floor. Stick it through there, toggle it off. Bob's your uncle. You can use 10 pegs, you could use whatever you want, but that is a pretty decent setup. So I'm happy with that tension. Didn't necessarily need the one in the middle, but I'm quite happy with that. Got, got some stakes now. You don't have to use these, you can carve them out of sticks. Wouldn't be too hard to shave the end off that and use that, but for the sake of a tutorial, this will do the job. Shelter, shelter assembled. Now that is just a standard A-frame shelter. Nothing Gucci, but if it's pissing down, good to go. So you might be wondering why do we have that bowline in the end? Not just hold the carabiner in place. Say for whatever reason this goes tits uh, or you lose it. We're still capable of starting this ridge line off nicely. Let's have a look, got a stick. All right, we're gonna wrap it around the tree. This is the Marlin Spike improvised hitch or something, I think it's called. Pull it through, put my line through here. This is my ridge line. It's going to the other tree. Got a line through there. There's my bow line. I'm just gonna tension it up. There you go. That's also very good. I still prefer these. And on the other side, you'll do a trucker hitch, but in the interest of keeping this video relatively short, um, there'll be other tutorials of that, just check them out. Don't have one of these, not a problem. Bowline, okay. Wrap it over the top. Roll it and create a little loop like so okay now you can just create the loop like that if you prefer go up under it then you go round the tree back through the hole see that pull it that is your bow line very simple knot like Okay, so once you've finished, what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna move the Prussic lines all the way to one end. 
like so. Put these in your between those two fingers is my preferred method. And I'm going to grab this and start wrapping it around the thumb, little finger, until we get quite close to the end. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to grab it in the middle, like so. What I'm going to do, start wrapping this around here. And when I get to probably about that to the end, what I like to do is quickly just take that off, form an X because I'm going to do a clove hitch through this line here. See the X I've created? Bring that, bring the line back through there. Pull it tight. Beautiful. I'll clip this back on just for tidiness. Good to go next time. And that is it. You can, if you want, you can clip them onto the Clovich. So next time you're ready to go, I'll clip both ends. You can tie that to a tree and bomb. To quick deployment. Guys, well, thank you for watching my uh, rapid ridgeline video. Uh, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and uh, yeah consider subscribing i'll uh, link up a couple more uh, of my stealth wild camp adventures and uh, see you in the next one take it easy guys